Hey, you guys, I have this cool DIY, which I am inspired by this little salt shaker, and it is the candy corn salt shaker. So I am doing my two-tier tray from this, and I needed a garland. I do not have a garland for my centerpiece, so I decided why not make my own and make it customized. So I'm going to make my own, and I'm going to make it candy corn. So it's going to be the white, the orange, and the yellow so i'm gonna make my own right now and i'm gonna show you how easy it is to make your own in case you want to make your own and you want to customize it you're gonna need your twine you're gonna need your glue gun you're gonna need um the wood beads which i will link down below on my amazon storefront you're gonna need um paint brushes you're gonna need a paint and what I'm using is I'm going to use these because they're already painted. So that'll be less painting, you guys. I'm going to show you the perfect trick to painting these, which is going to be super fast. And they're going to dry even faster. And you're going to get your crafting and your project done fast. But yeah, I didn't have a garland. And I'm like, I have so many. You guys have seen all my videos for every holiday. I have made one. So I did not have a candy corn one. And I decided why not make my own since i love to make stuff and i already had the beads now i'll link the color of the paint down below so don't worry about that in case you miss it i got my paint at walmart super cheap super affordable and i got every color i needed really fast so i'll link that down below as well as my amazon storefront storefront and every else link you need and my instagram so you guys can go follow me on instagram because i'm gonna link a mini video of my two-tier tray but i'm gonna have everything ready for you guys i am almost done we're gonna do a whole week of halloween and this video is gonna be up there i have so many ideas going my decor is already up you guys what are you gonna be for halloween i am caught between being princess leia and i also want to be a harry potter student so let me know down below what you guys are going to be for halloween i am super interested now we're going to get started i will write down how many beads i used what size and where i got them from uh, down below so everything will be down below in the description box now one little tip i have is grab a small paintbrush and put the beads on the back of the small paintbrush. It is less messier. It works every time. This is the best trick and tip that I discovered for myself that I am sharing with you guys. You guys, this makes the painting go by super fast. It is less sloppy, less messy, and you paint the bead right the first time. So what I am going to do is I am going to do one to three layers of paint. You could do as many as you want, but I discovered that the paint actually grabs really good to the wood, so you don't need too many layers. One or two layers is good, and it actually grabs the first time. When you are painting these little um, wood balls, make sure you start in the middle. Make sure you do the top and the bottom. It doesn't matter if you paint the brush. You can always um, wash your brushes. What I wash them with is with um, warm look water and a little bit of soap so if that does not work and the paint is not coming off use hot water with soap and that should paint that should um clean all your paint brushes and you're ready for the next diy project but when you're painting these little wood bead balls make sure you paint them up and down make sure you grab the bottom as well as the top because a lot of people forget and they paint the middle and once it dries you're like oh my god the top of it is not painted you have to take your brush out again and you have to make sure you paint it because you know you want your project to be right on the money all the time but i thought this size of beads are perfect especially because they're so big they stand out for a little project especially for a garland i love when my garland stands out the bigger the better the brighter the better for me and especially since i was doing the candy corn colors you know that orange has to pop but yeah if you have a um heat gun right now would be a perfect time to bring it out i will link my favorite heat gun down below on my amazon storefront 
I love my heat gun. I use it for every project from now on from painting. I use it when my vinyl doesn't want to stick onto something. It actually melts it into the plastic. So you guys, if you are a DIYer, you have to have a great affordable heat gun. And the one I'm going to link down below is my favorite. It's super affordable. It, um, is the perfect size for any project from now on i bring on my heat gun especially when i'm painting on wood because i love wood it dries super fast and i need it to dry just a little faster when i'm doing projects especially when i'm out of time and i'm trying to put them together and the paints everywhere i bring on my little heat gun and i continue the project so look how simple that was and now i'm going to use the yellow so all I do is grab the little wood bead, I put it in the back of a thin paintbrush, and it holds perfect, you guys. This is the perfect tip and trick to paint these little beads faster. You don't have to make a mess. You don't have to be super messy. Super easy. Do the top. Do the bottom. Let it dry. And if you're running out of time, like I said, bring on your heat gun. And if you have time, enjoy the process. I love painting. I could spend all day painting anything because it's super calming and super fun and easy and you really get a great joy out of it. So if you don't want to see me paint these wood beads, go ahead and forward it. But I love just painting. The color is perfect. So like I said, I did do three layers. You could do two to three depending on how bright you want the color depending on how intense you want the color i like mine super bright um i wish i would have done the yellow a little brighter and i got a more brighter yellow intensive but it did come out super cute and i'm just gonna let it dry and here you go the yellow is done we're gonna move on to this gorgeous orange and I will link the name down below of the orange. I did pick up this paint at Walmart. So Walmart has great, great, great prices on paint. I suggest if you're going to do a big project, you grab the really big bottle and go for it. Because trust me, I have run out of these little paints. I know they're super affordable, but I have run out of them really fast. So if you can, spend the extra dollar and grab the big bottle. But if you need a, just a little bit of color, like right now that I just need a little bit of color, go ahead and grab the little one. It's going to be way better. But look at this orange. It's so intense. It's so bright. I love it. It reminds me of fall. It's candy corn. It's a per perfect orange. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you really quick how I continue my projects. I'm so happy that... <laughs> that I had more paintbrushes. Thank you, Terry. She sent me this set of purple paintbrushes, which I really needed and I was able to use today. Now here is the little heat gun that I was talking to you about. Now this little heat gun has two settings. It has high and low. I use the low setting on there. I have not used the high setting because I'm scared that it's gonna like melt my project away. But this little heat gun is a lifesaver. If you do not have one, trust me, you're going to use it for all your wood projects. You're going to use it for all your vinyl projects. It just heats everything and glues it together. Go ahead and order yours. I'm going to leave my Amazon storefront and link it down below. So you can go check it out and buy your own. But this little gun has saved my life. It saves the time on drying. It makes everything go super fast. So the next step is to grab your twine which you can actually order on amazon or grab some up at your dollar tree so this is what i use all the time so i'm going to be making a little loop right there because i will tie mine to my base so it's really up to you how you want it i'm going to make a knot right there i'm going to pull it up and i'm going to pull it up super tight because i want that to stick Look how tight that was. So that's how tight you got to tie it. You don't want your garland falling apart. You don't want your wood beads falling off your garland. You want it to show. You want it to be long. You want it to be beautiful. And you want it to hold. So I did a knot. All I'm going to do is measure my other garlands to make sure I get the right amount and the right size. And I have the right amount of twine before I cut it. 
So always make sure you cut a little extra. It's okay if you cut it off and it's too long. Go ahead and do that as well. I am grabbing my hot glue gun. I'm putting a little bit of glue on the tip and I am just gonna... You saw what I did? I just put it in there and then I pushed it with my fingers and that makes the wood be go by so fast. It allows it to just slide in because if not, if you don't do that, like right there, I'm going to do it again. It just holds it from coming in. It falls apart. So I wanted to add these little charms and these are just little candy corn charms that I'm going to add to the garland. I thought it would be so cute since it is a candy corn garland. So all I'm going to do is add the, you saw how I added the glue on there. And then with my fingers, I just twisted it and it's going to seal it shut. So that's what I did. So now you're able to slide anything you want through the, through your string, through your burlap string and nothing's going to get caught. So if it does get caught, then you cut it and you seal it again. That is a super tip that I have for you that I use and works every time. This trick will allow all your garland and all your little things to slide right in. <coughs> you saw how fast that was? That was super fast. Now while the rest of your beads are drying, go ahead and make sure you have the order just like you like it or you have them in your mind just how you're going to put it together because once you put it together, it goes super fast. It's super easy. All you're going to do is slide in the beads just the color you like it or how you want it. Look at how easy that's going to be. It's just going to slide it in and it comes out through the other side. That's why I like to seal the twine because, you know, twine can split and it can make it really hard for you to work with. So the glue gun helps me out. All I'm going to do is take the beads off the back of the brushes and they are ready to be put in. So this part is easy. Just slide in your beads. If the twine does make it hard for you again, cut it, seal it again with the glue. That's all you have to do and it's going to allow you to just slip on your beads easily. That is a trick to making garlands, you guys, and making it easy. You can go ahead and order this garland. It'll be like 40 bucks, and then you have to pay like $10 to ship it when you can just make it yourself. I had all the items, and all I had to do was put it together. Look how beautiful it is. Look at you guys. This garland is so pretty. Look how beautiful it came out. We're almost at the end. I'm going to count the wood bead ball so I could tell you how many you need. But when you order the bag, it's going to give you enough. So you don't have to get worried about that. All I did was put them in. You slide it through the bottom and look how cute that is. That came out super adorable. Right now it's in uh, my centerpiece. And trust me, it makes the centerpiece stand out just that much more. I'm going to go ahead and put another charm at the end before I tie it up. And then we're just going to tie a little knot on there like that. And then we're going to cut off anything extra. So all I'm going to do is tie a knot. You can do one to two knots as many as you want. So you know that those beads are not going to come off. Tie it as super tight as you can. Anything extra, go ahead and cut it with your scissors. And we just made a garland. How cute is that? Super affordable, super fun. Um, goes great with my theme. Didn't have to order it. Didn't have to pay delivery, shipping, taxes, and nothing. I had everything already in the back of my closet. I hope you guys like it. Comment down below. And until next time, bye you guys.